So Thriller in Manila, the plan had been the Kipco 2000 Guineas, but a change of plan now. Yeah, unfortunately we had a little setback with him. He didn't scope well after his last bit of work, so um, we've taken the view that not getting in there 110% wasn't ideal, so he'll head all being well to the Dante now. Um, he's a nice horse and we don't want to ruin him by uh, running him when he's not right. What do you see as his ideal trip this year? Um, it's tricky to say really. He showed, you know, he won on soft ground over six and a half furlongs at Newbury last year and um, he's got a lot of natural speed, but I think um, the extra trip shouldn't, shouldn't really inconvenience him. Stay classy, uh, she's, unfortunately, she's thrown a splint um, last week, which has ruled her out um, of the Guineas, which is very frustrating, but the plan now will be to head to Royal Ascot for the Sandringham. Um, we've got enough time to get her right and hopefully we can get her there. What did you make of her comeback run at uh, Newbury? I think um, there was a lot of disappointing people with other runners there that week, other trainers, and um, the ground was very tacky and testing and gluey. So, um, you know, she ran well. Um, it was probably the most testing ground she's ran on and um, I think it sort of took its toll really, being its first run of the season, but being her first run of the season. So hopefully, you know, she's been working well at, at home and unfortunately we've had that blip last week but um, the Sandringham's still a nice target to have. The Rumble in the Jungle was one of your classiest two-year-olds last season. Where are we likely to see this one? Um, well, all being well, he could head to the Sandy Lane um, at Haydock um, in May and um, it depends on really how the weather holds out. If it, if it stays dry, he'll go there. If not, he could potentially just go straight to the Commonwealth Cup with a racecourse gallop somewhere because he doesn't want soft ground and um, there's no point really wasting a run um, when we know that he won't handle it. So the fast ground needs to be to be there for him to run. And Kaiser Soze? Kaiser, yeah, he ran well in the finals day at Lingfield. Um, he's, um, he's come out of the race well and he's got an entry in the lock inch, which we could see him lining up in, but there's other options for him. Um, and um, he could be sort of potentially getting on a plane and going abroad um, throughout the year. America and that could be a target for him as well. At this stage what would what would need to happen for him to run in the lock inch? Um, well we're, we're just going to see how he is leading into it but um, he's got an entry and it's not ruled out for going there but it's um, it's on our it's on our minds anyway. And uh, just looking ahead to Kipco Guineas weekend at Newmarket any other names to note? Uh, we've got um, a few entries Bernardo O'Reilly's entered in um, the six furlong handicap um, he'll obviously want rain, he doesn't want anything quick, but we can't really trust the weather forecast at the moment Play, you know, with the way it's been going, but he could potentially run if the ground suits. And Louis Trez has an entry in the three-year-old six furlong handicap, so um, he's in good order and, and hopefully he can um, run a nice race at the weekend.